The IX Center wasn't the only Cleveland venue during the summer of 2024 where baseball history is celebrated. It's been right here on Lexington Avenue for over one century, and I'm about to take you on a tour. Welcome to League Park, major league home of the Cleveland Blues, Naps, and Indians from 1901 until 1946. Beginning in 1932, the facility only hosted weekday games. It was also home turf for other college and pro baseball and football clubs starting in the 19th century. Arguably the most famous team that took to this field was the 1920 world champion Indians, led by player manager Tris Speaker. Six players hit over 300 that season, and three pitchers won 20 games, including Jim Bagby, who picked up 31. Their 98 victories were the most the franchise accumulated during this era. The Baseball Heritage Museum opened July 1997 in downtown Cleveland, just in time for that year's All-Star Game. It has moved twice since, once in 2006, and then to its current location in 2014. That was also the year League Park underwent a major renovation, complete with a new ball field. The original stadium was demolished in 1951. The museum itself takes residence in the park's old ticket house. Thousands of guests visit each year, but according to Bob Shepard, the other Bob Shepard, the one who works here, there is a significant increase of foot traffic in years when the playoffs or national happens to be in town. Founder Robert Zimmer made a living in jewelry and real estate. He was also a collector, acquiring artifacts from not just the major leagues as we once knew them, but also Negro, women, and barnstorming teams. Today, current and past exhibits include memorabilia and photographs from Latin and Caribbean leagues.
This is more than a historical house. It has branded itself as a communal link between baseball and education. As mentioned on its website, the mission is to preserve and present the history of diversity in baseball by entertaining, educating, and enlightening the visiting public about the multicultural heritage of baseball and the values it represents. Mr. Shepard explains more. Originally, League Park was opened up in 1891 and uh, in the middle of a neighborhood, uh, there was uh, both commercial entities here, homes, like there's many homes here still now, uh, both newer homes, older homes, so forth. And there is a revitalization going on now in, in the last few years and years to come about the immediate neighborhood, which they're going to kind of uh, call it uh, the League Park neighborhood now. You know, it's kind of a... a, a a sub-neighborhood which, as you mentioned, as you alluded to, has uh, had its challenges with the uh, riots back in the 60s, but then lately it's, it's an upcoming area, the, the Lig Park the neighborhood. The museum hosts guided group tours, school field trips, and pickup games. It also sponsors the Buckeyes Traveling Baseball Program, a competitive league which educates youngsters ages 9 through 18 about the fundamentals of the game along with sportsmanship.
League Park is on the National Registry of Historic Places, and hopefully the museum has found a permanent home as its neighbor. For more information, including how to become a member, visit the website shown here.